Hey guys, what's happening? This is Sunil here and this is the second tutorial video in a series of six tutorial videos with regard to the plugin chords. Now in the earlier video, we discussed the basics of chords, that is how to access the readily available presets, how to route your signal so that you'd be able to hear the chords on your VST instrument, how to customize a preset and how to save a preset both for FL Studio as well as Reaper. Now coming to the next aspect of chords is its flexibility and customization. Each preset has the bandwidth to have 12 chords across whichever note is there, right from C all the way to B. I'm going to give a hypothetical example here for one of the instances I'm going to be showing. For example, I have been given a brief as a music composer about music scores or music compositions for certain scenes in a short film. And each scene has a separate emotion. However, the director has a strict brief that I have to maintain consistency in terms of the bass or root note of each score. Basically, he means all the different uh, score pieces that are there will have to have one root note. So I'm going to assume that to be C in this case. All the different score pieces have to be in the key scale C. Then what I can do in that regard is I can map the C key to all the 12 notes and designate them respective chords. It's as simple as right clicking and changing each of these keys to note C. And now for all the 12 keys, I'll have to map respective chords based on certain emotions of the requirement. For this example, I did a little bit of homework and came up with 12 chord combos for C. Now I will play some of these chords and highlight to you what I feel personally and emotionally about the sound that's derived from each of these chords. Please note, this is my personal opinion. I'm not the know-all and end-all of these chords. They might be a proper refined definition in terms of the tonality and the emotion derived from each of these chords. But it's just how I feel and what sound comes to my mind when I hear this and what feeling I get or I derive by hearing each of these chords. So let's go ahead. The first key is the chord C minor. It's slightly on the sadder side with hopes of it turning into something positive, but for a beginning it definitely feels rather sad. So that's C minor. The second is C major. Let me check it out. So this is happy, positive, like-mindedness, positive minds, something good about to happen. That's what I get by hearing C major. The next key is C augmented. Oh wow, on first listen, the thoughts that come to my head are eerie, horror, misunderstandings, the olden days suspense, film noir, and old sci-fi serials such as Ben-Hur, Frankenstein, Lost in Space. All the old vintage weird stuff comes to mind when I hear this chord called C Augmented. The next chord is called C SUS4. I'm a little dunce when it comes to music theory, so I don't know whether SUS stands for suspended or sustained, but I just take it as C SUS4. Well, it sounds like a little more affirmative sound that could go in any direction, right from positive or negative on the opposite ends. Um, it also sounds like one of the late 80s, early 90s, you know, uh, morning breaking news stories. They have these things that go in a pattern, this one particular chord. Let me just try it and see if it sounds like that. Ah yes, it sounds like one of those breaking news, today, blah 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 blah, 9am, pm, blah blah blah, something like that. You know the 80s and 90s breaking news, that one chord with that certain pattern, it's kind of annoying. The next key is called C9 SUS4.
All right. Wow. Um, so first thoughts of this card are it's got a lot of ambience to it very futuristic elements and soundscapes could be used in this kind of a scenario with this card. Little off topic, I'm a hardcore or at least I was a hardcore PS1 and PS2 gamer. So if you've ever played this game called Deccan 4 or Deccan Tag Tournament, there's this level called Authentic Sky. Basically, it's a nighttime scene scenario level where uh, two of you are fighting uh, on a skyscraper and can fall down into a museum. The music of that, I think, is quite similar to this, this chord combination. The next key is called C, the next chord, sorry, is called C minor, add 9. Almost like the previous key chord, but this chord feels that it has a little more of empathy, a little more of an emotional vibe. Um, the earlier chord, which was C9 SUS4, uh, felt like a very rigid, mechanic, automation-driven style, uh, futuristic sound. But this one, for some reason, I feel has a little more emotional vibe to it that could work in very, very serene, ambient, maybe even some sensual scenarios, I guess. The next key is C add 9. So this has more of a morning glory vibe to it, a triumphant victory, peaceful, the sunrise, and a whole lot of positive vibes about to approach your way. That's how I feel about this chord. Next chord is C minor 6. Okay, at the surface, it sounds like a very despondent, uncertain type of sound, ambiguous in its nature, and not positive. Um, for the Indian audience watching this, there's an old song of Kishore Kumar called Mere Nena Savan Something Sabhado Bhayo, whatever. Yeah, uh, that has a musically similar vibe to this. Let me just bring up that track and then play this chord so you can hear that there's something similar to it. Yep, definitely despondent, definitely uncertain, definitely negative in nature, no positive vibes and they both sound similar. I'll skip the next two to three presets, uh, the, sorry, the next two to three key chords and head to the last key chord combination, which is nothing but an octaver. That is, the C note is played twice, one at its existing range and one at 12 semitones higher or an octave higher. For guitarist, it's basically playing an open string and that particular note on the 12th fret at the same time. So check how it sounds. Sounds quite amazing. I've heard this on a song of Michael Bublé called Save the Last Dance for Me. I don't know if that's a movie or a soundtrack, but there's a lot of, you know, 12 octaver type piano sounds in that. The main reason I kept this preset is because it's one of those chord combinations that can be played with all the other key chord combos that I showed you earlier. And it will still sound amazing. It gives a little more vibrant or a little more colored vibe to it. And uh, just check out how it, how it sounds with the rest of the key chord combos. So that sounds cool. Personally for me, I feel it's awesome. So using this principle, you can make thousands of presets. Correction, you can tailor make thousands of presets based on your choice and preference. And most importantly, your customization. And if unsure, you can clear everything and start from a fresh canvas simply by right clicking each key and its chord and selecting clear. There are three more amazing features 
that this can perform, which I'll cover in the later videos. Till then, see you soon. Psycho out.